Now, after updating earthquake dead load live load, uh, let's check again if they're. Okay. Then let's now define the auto load combination. This is the auto load, and since our structure is a concrete, we follow ACI under UBC 97. We can then just generate loads, and if you will observe it automatically detected that load case 3 is a dead load okay? because we specify that its load type is a dead load that's why its corresponding factor as per ACI is also 1.4 here 1.2 on the dead load 1.6 on the live load which is number 4 so on so forth then click on add then they are all applied close okay I suggest that you edit the name here okay and say this is 1.4 you can just name it as 1.4 dead deadload change close and then you can do the same to the here no once we're done with the auto load combination we can now analyze then add close then click on what, what wait they should save this first then click on analyze okay then let's investigate our base here this one okay so our computed stat base here is 1098.06 okay and its corresponding factor or seismic coefficient factor is 23% of the whole seismic weight let's verify that okay where's that okay let's try to input 4713.89 here on our spreadsheet 4713.89 I'll, I'll override this 4713.89 just have to save this save as this file okay. which govern 1098 and it's correct so they have the same result with stat. What governs is equation 208-5, 1098. And the coefficient is, that means it 2.5 CAIW over R formula, which is this one. V equals 2.5 CAIW over R. I think this is the maximum design base shear. So the formula of this one, V equals CVI over RTW does not govern okay, because it's too much. Okay, but according to NSCP or UBC 97, you should not exceed this. Okay. So this is again one of the advantage of this spreadsheet. You can double check the result of stat okay okay then close 